quartet are cleared of wheel meet in the office as they straighten up for the final two flights. On the right, it's Flamingo's Court and has got the measure of Mag Brady, it would appear. Racing down to the final flight, Kilbarry Angel next with My Slow Gin. And at the final flight, it's Flamingo's Court in the lead from Mag Brady, then My Slow Gin and Kilbarry Angel. And deep in the closing stages, it's uh, all the way for Flamingo's Court and Brian Cooper and another to add to Andy McNamara's earnings this week. The quartet are cleared of wheel meet in the office as they straighten up for the final two flights. On the right, it's Flamingo's Court and has got the measure of Mag Brady, it would appear. Racing down to the final flight, Kilbarry Angel next with My Slow Gin. And at the final flight, it's Flamingo's Court in the lead from Mag Brady, then My Slow Gin and Kilbarry Angel. And deep in the closing stages, it's uh, all the way for Flamingo's Court and Brian Cooper and another to add to Andy McNamara's earnings this week. Mag Brady second and my slow Jen Kilbarry Angel and we'll meet in the office. Two furlongs to race, two flights to jump, and it's get out when you can with Monotype. Responding well to Brian Cooper's urgings on the outside. Mark Walsh just with a narrow advantage on board. Get out when you can. At the second last, get out when you can in the air with Monotype. Great Can is trying to challenge in the centre of the track. They race down towards the final flight. Monotype picked off by Great Can on the near side as they race away from the final flight. They're stride for stride. Monotype on the inside of Great Can as they race to with 50. 50 yards left to go and it's Monotype holding Great Can and Monotype further enhances Brian Cooper and Paul Nolan's bank holiday weekend. Two furlongs to race, two flights to jump and it's get out when you can with Monotype. Responding well to Brian Cooper's urgings on the outside. Mark Walsh just with a narrow advantage on board. Get out when you can. At the second last, get out when you can in the air with Monotype. Great Can is trying to challenge in the centre of the track. They race down towards the final flight. Monotype picked off by Great Can on the near side as they race away from the final flight. They're stride for stride. Monotype on the inside of Great Can as they race to with 50 yards left to go and it's Monotype holding Great Can and Monotype further enhances Brian Cooper and Paul Nolan's bank holiday weekend with a hard cut victory over Great Can. They're clear from get out when you can and then Jamie Summers and played the game. Plenty in with chances at two out. Officers mess joined by Lady Mang and they're spread across the track. On the far side, Transwood, she's made it. Coherent, our pocket rocket, the final flight. Officers mess, she's made it. Lady Mangan on the near side. They got 100 yards to go. Officers mess from Lady Mangan as they go to the judge. Officers mess beats off Lady Mangan to make all. Plenty in with chances at two out. Officers mess joined by Lady Mangan. They're spread across the track. On the far side, Transwood, she's made it. Coherent, our pocket rocket, the final flight. Officers mess, she's made it. Lady Mangan on the near side. They got 100 yards to go. Officers mess from Lady Mangan as they go to the judge. Officers mess beats off Lady Mangan to make all for Ricky Doyle and trainer Conor O'Dwyer. The winner is Officers Mess from Lady Mangan. She's made it and then Transwood and Coherent. Straightening up with two flights to jump, and it's Maeve's Choice and Castafior Park on the outside, just landing in front. And as they come down to the final flight now, it's Castafior Park in the lead. Two Shannas come out of the bunch. On the far side is Ronald Pump, then benefit of magic, a mistake by Carrie Grady. It's Castafior Park and Ronald Pump with a big finish on the far side, ahead of Two Shannon. Benefit of magic from the back, they hit the line. Castafior Park has won it. Three in the bag for Brian Cooper and two for Paul Nolan. Two and benefit of magic and then Ronald Pump. Straightening up with two flights to jump, and it's Maeve's Choice and Castafior Park on the outside, just landing in front. And as they come down to the final flight now, it's Castafior Park in the lead. Two Shannas come out of the bunch. On the far side is Ronald Pump, then Benefit of Magic, a mistake by Carrie Grady. It's Castafior Park and Ronald Pump with a big finish on the far side, ahead of Two Shannon. Benefit of Magic from the back, they hit the line. Castafior Park has won it. Three in the bag for Brian Cooper and two for Paul Nolan. Two Shannon and benefit of magic and then Ronald Pump. 
Straightening up now for the second last with Sir Bob moving in pursuit as Veneziano Springs can't give any more than Dil Rowan down to the final fence. It's Ventara, Robbie Parr from Sir Bob and Mark Walsh and over the last. And it is Ventara from Sir Bob. They're cleared of Dilro who moves into third ahead of Veneziano Springs. But driven out, Ventara will get off the mark in the building. The future beginners chase Ventara, the winner for Robbie Parr. And Jesse Harrington with Sir Bob second. Third is Dilro, Veneziano. Veneziano Springs is fourth and Jefferson Davis is fifth. Straightening up now for the second last with Sir Bob moving in pursuit as Veneziano Springs can't give any more than Dil Rowan down to the final fence. It's Ventara, Robbie Parr from Sir Bob and Mark Walsh and over the last and it is Ventara from Sir Bob. They're cleared of Dilro who moves into third ahead of Veneziano Springs but driven out Ventara will get off the mark in the building the future beginners chase. Ventara the winner for Robbie Parr and Jesse Harrington with Sir Bob second. Third is Dilro, Veneziano Luciano Springs is fourth and Jefferson Davis is fifth. With two fences to jump, it's Fergie the Legend, the one to catch. Lackenbridge second, then Codderwill on the far side of As It So Happens, but down towards the final fence, a slight mistake there by Lackenbridge. Was dropping back anyway, but Fergie the Legend is clear. Coming to the final fence, Fergie the Legend over and clear from Codderwill. As It So Happens, a mistake by Lackenbridge, a very tired jump than Doobie doing. But it is Fergie the Legend for Cahill Landers and John Carr who are wide margin winners from Cotherwell, as it so happens, do be doing, and Lackenbridge is the only other finisher. With two fences to jump, it's Fergie the Legend, the one to catch. Lackenbridge second, then Cotherwell on the far side of As It So Happens, but down towards the final fence, a slight mistake there by Lackenbridge. Was dropping back anyway, but Fergie the Legend is clear. Coming to the final fence, Fergie the Legend over and clear from Cotherwell. As It So Happens, a mistake by Lackenbridge, a very tired jump than Doobie doing. But it is Fergie the Legend for Cahill Landers and John Carr who are wide margin winners from Cotherwell, as it so happens, do be doing, and Lackenbridge is the only other finisher. As they race round the home turn with two furlongs to go, not much now between. Patricia the Plaster taken on by Chisholm Trail. Back sheesh on the outside. Then absentee and if you catch me now. They have a furlong to go and it's Chisholm Trail driven to the front by Patrick Mullins and goes on from if you catch me now. Back sheesh and then absentee racing to the last 50 and it's Chisholm Trail. It's been a good day's pickings for Paul Nolan and owner John Brennan as Chisholm Trail wins from if you catch me now. Then back sheesh as they race round the home turn with two furlongs to go. Not much now between. Patricia the Plaster taken on by Chisholm Trail. Back sheesh on the outside. Then absentee and if you catch me now. They have a furlong to go and it's Chisholm Trail driven to the front by Patrick Mullins and goes on from if you catch me now. Back sheesh and then absentee racing to the last 50 and it's Chisholm Trail. It's been a good day's pickings for Paul Nolan and owner John Brennan as Chisholm Trail wins from if you catch me now. Then back sheesh followed in by absentee Patricia the Plaster and then Lady McCabe, Kilgat Barry calling and what a benefit.